Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in Digital Signal Processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider illustrate the inverse decimation in time FFT algorithm with the help of necessary equations and signal flow representation. So let's consider uh, this concept. Inverse decimation in time abbreviated as IDFT FFT. An IDFT FFT algorithm is the inverse of the decimation in time that is DIT FFT algorithm. The DIT FFT algorithm decomposes a DFT into smaller DFTs by recursively breaking the time domain sequence into two halves. And similarly, the IDFT FFT works in a reverse manner. For these, I need to consider the IDFT expression. So IDFT is defined as x of k is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power j 2 pi divided by capital N into k into small n. Whereas n is capital N is the number of the sample that is the length of the sequence x of n is the input uh, time domain signal x of k is the frequency domain signal and finally e to the power j 2 pi by capital N k into n is the complex exponential function known as twiddle factor. We start with a sequence x of n. x of n will be given of length capital N equal to 8. So let's consider n is equal to 8. So what is that x of n is equal to x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6, x of 7. So basically there are four steps in uh, considering this algorithm. Step number one. The first step is to divide this sequence, input sequence into two parts. One containing the even indexed elements and the other containing the odd indexed elements. What are those even indices? Even indices are x of 0, x of 2, x of 4 and x of 6. Yes. Similarly, we need to consider the odd indices. Odd indices are x of 1, x of 3, x of 5 and lastly x of 7. So this is step number 1. Moving on further, we have got step number 2. Recursively compute FFT on even and odd indexed parts. We need to compute recursively uh, FFT of even and odd indexed parts. Next, compute the IDFT for the even indexed subsequence. That is IDFT of x of 0, x of 2, x of 4 and x of 6. Similarly, compute the IDFT for the odd indexed subsequence. That is IDFT of x of 1, x of 3, x of 5 and x of 7. This is step number 2. Moving on further, step number 3. Combine the results. So now we have calculated IDFT of even sequences and odd uh, sequences. So now combine the results. Now combine the results of the two smaller FFTs using the inverse DFT formula. That is step number three. Uh, lastly, we have got step number four, scaling the result. We need to scale the result. At the end of the process, we scale the output by dividing the result by the length that is n which is equal to 8 in this case. So next task is to draw the signal flow graph. So to draw the signal flow graph uh, what we have to do is reverse the direction of the flow graph. If I consider DIT FFT algorithm I need to reverse the direction of the flow graph here to get DIT FFT for IDFT calculation. The first step is reverse the direction. Next is change the sign of the power of the factor WN. We need to change the sign of the power of the factor WN. Next is replace X of N by X of K. At the input side we used to have X of N and at the output we used to have X of K for DIT FFT for FFT calcul DFT calculation. So now I need to replace X of N with X of K and X of K with X of N. And lastly, multiply the output by the factor 1 divided by N because it is there in the formula. Hence, I need to divide uh, or the multiply with the factor 1 by N. With all these things, the finally signal flow graph of DIT FFT algorithm for IDFT computation looks something like this. 
at the input we have capital x of 0 capital x of 1 capital x of 2 till capital x of 7 these are the dft coefficients given at the output we have uh, the idft which is x of 0 they are there in the bit reversed order small x of 0 small x of 4 small x of 2 small x of 6 first we have even indexed uh, uh, input then we have got x of 1 x of 5 x of 3 x of 7 odd indexed samples is that okay so this is finally how signal flow graph of DIT FFT algorithm for IDFT computation uh, looks like. So here we have considered the concept of inverse decimation in time FFT algorithm uh, with the help of necessary equations and finally the signal flow graph representation. Thank you so much for watching.